Welcome to your Sunday One Video Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, I am using my Wade and Butcher for Gentleman Juice. This is the one we honed up last Friday. That is a 15 16 blade, barber's notch, and it is a smiling blade. Very nice. Yep, one of my favorite razors. And for our soap tonight, we're using Mitchell's Wool Fat. Yeah, fat rules, baby. This is good stuff. And I have had the fat blooming. Yes, I have. So we're going to pour off that bloom water and put that on as a pre-shave, just like normal. Very nice. Fantastic scent on this. I really like this one. And for our brush tonight, we are going with the Omega 10,098 that is bore. And this is a fantastic brush as well. We're going to go ahead and get that loaded up. Yeah. All right. So hopefully you are having a good weekend. The world's treating you good. You're in high spirits. Being able to relax, have some downtime, and just enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy family and friends, which is always nice. Yep. And get some good shaves. I hope you're getting some good shaves. Yep. Now, I think... I'm pretty much there now on this soap. Yeah, made a good mess again, which I always do, which is fine, no big deal. We're gonna clean up around the inside like that, put that on the brush. The rest of this, we're just gonna put on the face. Mm -hmm. So, go like that, go like that, and just work it in. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, very nice. Yep, get those hands cleaned off and dried off. Yep, there we go, look at that. Oh yeah, let's get our lather on. All right. Yeah, this is truly a fantastic soap, really is. And it has a reputation of being hard to lather if you have hard water. But I don't seem to have that problem here, which is good because I really like this stuff. Get that off that, put it back on the brush. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, you know, if you haven't tried Mitchell's Wool Fat, you could give it a shot. There we go. Looking good. Now, I did put that brush in my Crown King Travel Scuttle that does have hot water in it as well. Now this is pass one and this is the shave test for this razor. Let's do this. Oh, fantastic. Oh, 
think I just hit that bump right there. Let's get that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Sure enough, I hit that bump. All right. No big deal. Just got too excited. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at that. Whisker destruction. Yep. That is so good. Get that blade cleaned off. Now, I am also fogging up here as well. And I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. So let's clean that mirror off a little bit. Yeah, got another spot. Sure enough. Yeah, I can't actually see where I am in the mirror because it is fogged up, which is not good. All right, let's get up here. Well, now that right there is about as big a cut as I've gotten in a very long time. So, let's go ahead. We're going to get some alum on that and see if that doesn't take care of it. There we go. Yeah, we'll see if that works. If it doesn't work, I'll pop out the septic pencil or styptic pencil. <laughs> uh, I, sometimes I can't talk. There we go. Now, get that blade cleaned off again. Yep. We're going to get up here. There we go. Nice. Yep. Now, let's get that cleaned off. See how we did. Oh, 
There you go. Wow, look at that. Just knocking those whiskers out. Yeah, we are. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Now, pass two. And, yeah, work up a good lather. It's a little thin for me. Now I have found that when I put the brush in the scuttle like this, it does, that water comes out of that brush. So we're just going to go ahead and load up the brush a little bit more. I probably should have done more in the beginning. I just thought I had enough, but that's okay. No big deal. We'll just do it again. All right. Now, it happens. It happens. So, no big deal. You know, if this happens to you, just load up a little bit more and keep moving on. Yeah, I am trying to use uh, less soap and see what I can get away with. So, can't get away with it on this one. <laughs> That's all right. No big deal. All right, now, we're in business, yep, and let me just clean off that mirror a little bit more, there we go, and this is pass two, which for me primarily is against the grain, let's do this. All right, get the blade cleaned off. That smiling blade works really good right there. There we go. Nice. Yep. Now, we're going to get this other side.
switching up that handle. Nice. There we go. Looking good. Now we're going to switch hands. Get this other side. There it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, having a nice relaxing Sunday share. So good. There we go. Nice. Yep. Yeah, hopefully uh, you're having some relaxing shades too. There we go. Pass two complete. Now let's get that rinse off. See how we did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cheeks are right where we want them. Very nice. All right, we're gonna do a little preempty strike. Right there, just like that, and let's do the half pass, yeah. Now this is basically going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck, and that is the best way, or this is the best way for me to get my jawline and my neck. So, if you, uh, Think this is going to work for you you could always give it a try yeah and if not it, if it doesn't seem to work just modify it yeah all right because my hair pretty much along at jawline just goes almost straight back like that and then through here it's going like that as well on both sides right through here is going to be totally uh Really, with the grain, the way I'm doing it for that area, but it's going to work. It's just going to work for me because I did a with the grain before and I did against the grain and I'm going to do a second with the grain in that area 
and it's going to be fine. It's going to work really well. All right. Now, this is the half pass. There we go. Nice. Now, we're going to switch hands and get this other side. So this is really a nice, sharp, but comfortable edge. Making quick work out of those whiskers. I just uh, got a little careless here and here because I was having too much fun. And I was excited. Looking good. Now, get that cleaned off. All right, there we go. Another shave in the books. Yep. And this razor will cut very nicely. Yep. I like the edge. It's It's got a really keen edge on it. And I like that. So it's going to work really well for me. And look at that. Wow. That is marvelous. Yep. Now, we're going alum everywhere. All right. It is my habit. After the shave. It will take care of those little things we hit. You know, like right there. I hit something in there somewhere. Yep. But it'll be fine. Now, if you can't do the alum, just go with cold water and followed by witch hazel. Jody says that works really well. And uh, I'm sure he knows. All right. Now, I'm going to follow with witch hazel and this is the Thayer's lavender witch hazel really good yep I like this one it's got a fine scent and it's just marvelous it really is mmm good for the skin oh that's so good and I do put that everywhere I think it's marvelous so we go like that and we're going to top off the shave with Nivea Poche Balm. And this is the cooling Poche Balm. Yep. Yeah, we, we're having a little bit uh, a little bit warmer weather. You know, in the mid, mid to lower 70s from time to time. And the rest of the time in the upper 60s. Mid to upper 60s. Yeah. So... That's good. Yeah, there we go. I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You click on this card to see me honing this Wade and Butcher for Gentleman's Use. It is a excellent honing video. And I get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead and leave me 
questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for upcoming Street Razor Edge Friday special, and I will get that going for you. Now, if you've been around for a little while and you enjoy what you see, go ahead and consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comments, all right? We'll answer all of your questions. And I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Stop on by for that. It wouldn't be the same without you. And down in the description of this video, I have got a ton of links for straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.